It is the first morning on our property. It's a little after six. We have the birds. And uh, Shell's still asleep. I'm gonna make some coffee. And we'll see what the day brings. So what do you think about coffee? I need some. How did that work? <laughs> Let's go get some Failure. coffee. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. So much to learn. We have done that before though. I gotta stop talking. We need to get her coffee. She's gonna kill me. I'm not smiling. So our coffee experiment did not go well. Um, so we decided to come to the Railway Cafe because we had awesome breakfast and coffee here uh, when we were here last time. And, um, yep, there it is. Notice the darkness. Yeah, they open at 9, which is great, other than the fact that it is, um, yeah, that's uh, an hour and 15 minutes from now. Eight, nine, four, yeah, hour and 15 minutes from now. I'm not good at math. So we're gonna go into Martinsville and get some coffee, I guess. Or we could just go to a gas station or one of the grocery store things around here and just get coffee. We need coffee. She doesn't care where we go. I'm um, gotta find some place fast. Remember the uh, last time we were here that that place um, wasn't open on Sundays, which is fine because it's only Saturday. And but we found another place, uh, Red and Mays. So we decided <laughs> let's go there, and then. Um, and she'll check to see if they were open. They don't open until nine. Apparently, in our new area here, nine o'clock is early. That's like morning time, I guess. And uh, so <laughs> we are still, we didn't get all the way there, thank God, but then we stopped at uh, another cool grocery store that we stopped at before here and walked up and the girl was out smoking a cigarette. And I told her, I said, don't rush, no big deal. We're just gonna get coffee. She goes, oh yeah, we don't have coffee. So we're noticing we they, I don't know. We're beginning to wonder if this was a good idea or not. So, um, but there's a place up the street apparently that has all kinds of coffee. So we're gonna go get some coffee. <laughs> coffee. You happier now? I'm happier now. I have coffee. <laughs> I'm not very nice without it. Biscuits and gravy. <laughs> Here at the Railway Cafe. They're open now. Actually, it was kind of cool. We walked in and she, uh, Kayla's the owner here. Maybe we'll get her on here. I don't know. I mean, at some point we will. But we walked in and she's like, hey guys. And she totally remembered us from before. We it's like, are we here for good now? So that's pretty cool. All right, we're going to eat some breakfast. Hey, you. So this. <laughs> it's our new home. Our new home. At least what's left of what was here. So there was a house apparently here that uh, had a gas leak blew up. Nobody died. Huh? 
Nobody died. Nobody was home, I guess. So, uh, so this is the foundation of what was left. And initially, we talked about knocking it down. And then the more we thought about it, we're like, oh, that could make a pretty cool, like, a courtyard or something. So I don't know what we're going to do. A lot of it's going to depend on what the county's going to let us do, too, I guess. I don't know. But we'll find out. All right, so this is day one on our property. We don't technically own it yet, but that's all just paperwork side. So we're gonna wander around, check it out. So one of the crazy things about this area is there's there, it, there's a lot of hills because it's we're in the foothills here in uh, southern Virginia, but this property's got three or four distinct like flat plateaus on it. When we saw, it, we couldn't believe it. We're like, what the heck? Um, so this is one of them. Here. This is right at the top here, kind of behind the house, or where the house is, and it just sort of comes around. The whole property's kind of shaped like a boomerang almost and uh, it's got these dis almost like steps going down of flat land it's really I don't know that this is even gonna show um, it's crazy this doesn't I don't know how well this is even gonna show the what it looks like but. so you got like this flat area here and then you can look down and see there's another one down there and then there's another one down beyond there. And that's where the creek is, which is beautiful. All right, we're gonna wander around, just get some random stuff from this, I guess. It's kind of boring to just sort of watch, watch us walk around the property. I don't know if that's that interesting or not, but get some of the cool looking stuff, I guess. Oh, yeah, that's also kind of interesting about this property. Um, it looks like it's back in the middle of nowhere. But it's not. It's right on the road. <laughs> Till you get just over top of the road. And then it doesn't look like it is anymore. It's pretty cool. you think all of this is? Might be wild rose. It's prickers. They are sharp too. All kinds of pricker bushes. We need a couple goats. This is about the halfway, the halfway point of this level and kind of the kind of the whole property. I don't know if you can hear the creek or not. It sounds awesome from here. I don't even know if that worked. erosion issue here. But there's a and some organization so they'll come out and help with it. We take out a lot of these little scrubby things. Not that I have any idea what anything is, at least at this point. I think we've got maple trees, that I'm pretty sure of because I can sort of recognize the leaves. Straight up through there is where the house is. So this is kind of the north, uh, I guess of the east corner. Probably goes down like that. Hey, beautiful. 
this, and you could do in the background, is what sold us on. This creek runs the entire northern border of this property. She broke her foot a couple of months ago. She's on the mend, but she's back here tromping around like a mountain goat. <laughs> I said it was going to rain today. Uh, it's like it's starting. See what it does. We got a beach. We got a beach. And deer, apparently. And rabbits. <laughs> did that scare you? It did scare me. <laughs> Little cottontail bunny went running. can't hardly believe this. This is our property. <laughs> Pretty cool. When we started looking at the property, uh, I went on online to see what I could find, see if there was anybody else around here doing the same kind of stuff, and uh, ran across Nodoka, I think that's how you pronounce it, Woodcrafts, uh, Sean, and uh, so I hit him up on the drive up here said hey man can we swing by and see what you're doing he's like absolutely come on check it out so we are at his place for a minute um i don't know how much we're going to shoot here but um I'll show you a little bit about what he's got going on the fog's rolled in here it was raining earlier and uh, he's got his house he's got all his stuff on youtube to check his videos out but got the cool store here that he's working on and all of these guys were riding his quads or something. They're all good and muddy. They're having a good time. It is cold and rainy now, but it was a good time. So we're goofing off. Get some of this. Right on, nice. my brother. So this is Oakley? Oakley. Oakley, yep. we just met today. And uh, my, my new friend Sean, oh. out here at, is it Nodoka? Is that how you pronounce yeah, it? Yeah, All right, Nodoka. Sold from like a little Japanese right word on. I borrowed. Right on. But it basically means, um, so if you were in springtime, right, you kind of like, as everything's waking up and you were to pause and kind of just take all that in, like that moment. So I was like, that's my favorite time. That's, and it was different enough where um, There's no way we're gonna catch up to those guys. They have quads. I had a bunch of two by six, so I did this little detail. Um, but because I have a nailing strip and three quarter inch foam behind this, these are these inch boards are now flush. So I'm actually just gonna double this up. Um, and then when the batten strips run into it, they'll this will be proud of that. And it'll be like a little reveal. And then the porch will get closed in, so you won't see any of that little foam and thing. But of course, Olivia made me put a porch uh, swing on already. <laughs> Work day, trade, whatever you need, you know, it'll be awesome. It'll be super fun. All about it. We'll help each other document a few things too, because that's hard by yourself. Um, as my friend Matt was here, I'm like, oh, cool. I can actually like play with different angles, you know? Right. And then, uh, I'm by myself. If I were to do that, this would take twice as long, probably. Oh, yeah. You know, um, oh, yeah. I, but then going to edit things and uh, man, I but hear you. <laughs> it's all good. We just keep yeah. following all the paths of things we want to do, and yeah. well, I think we're all on our way. It's awesome. Kind of crappy, rainy Saturday turned into a brilliant day, and. Uh, very cool meeting Sean and uh, Olivia and the family. It was awesome. And, uh, so we're gonna get some steak going, have some dinner. Hopefully keep a little bit of fire going in this rain that's supposed to quit, but we'll see what happens. It's been a fun day though.
What do you think? You hungry? I'm starving. Well, good. Steak's ready. Yum. Thank you, cooker. Thank you, fire personer. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Quit your life. <laughs>